I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is the Word Before Work. Today we're reading from Psalm 62, verse 12. Here's what it says. You, Lord, reward everyone according to what they have done. Again, that's David speaking in Psalm 62, verse 12. I don't believe that bucket lists are evil, but I do believe that Christians of all people should spend less time thinking about bucket lists, lists of things you want to do before you die and kick the bucket, and a lot more time thinking about anti-bucket lists, catalogs of things you will strive not to do on this side of eternity. Why? Three reasons. Number one, This life is not our only chance to enjoy the best this world has to offer. As Dr. Randy Alcorn has said, quote, the bucket list mentality is profoundly unbiblical, end quote, because scripture makes clear that we will have all eternity to enjoy the earth's greatest destinations. See Revelation 21, the earth's best Food, see Isaiah 25. Culture, see Isaiah 60. And jobs, see Isaiah 65. Number two, God will reward believers differently based on how we steward this life. This is what David alluded to in today's passage and what the son of David, Jesus Christ, promised more than 20 times. In Matthew 16, 27, for example, Jesus echoed David by saying that, quote, the son of man will reward each person according to what they have done, end quote. Number three, eternal rewards are almost always tied to sacrifices we make in the present. For example, in Luke 6, Jesus said that if you sacrifice your reputation at work because of the son of man, great is your reward in heaven. In Luke 12, he promised that if you sacrifice your possessions and give to the poor, you will be rewarded with, quote, treasure in heaven that will never fail, end quote. For those three reasons, I've spent a lot more time thinking about my anti-bucket list, things I am intentionally sacrificing in this life so that I can accumulate as many eternal rewards as possible per Jesus' command. Let me give you one example from my anti-bucket list to illustrate this idea. As much as I love, genuinely, my hometown of Tampa, Florida, no city fuels my soul more than Washington, D.C. I know, I know, I'm an absolute crazy person. I get it. So why don't my wife and I move our family to D.C.? Well, there's a lot of answers to that question, but one is that our aging parents and grandparents are within a 10-minute drive of our current home, and we feel called to help care for them as they get older. Now listen, that is a massive sacrifice for me personally, less so for my far less selfish wife. But knowing that I will have all eternity to explore the greatest city of all time, I am happy to put this dream on my anti-bucket list because I trust in God's promise that he will reward me for whatever good I do in this life. See Ephesians 6, 8. You too can take David's words to the bank. The Lord will reward everyone according to what they have done in this life. Plan accordingly. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBWFoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. You can sign up right now again for free at TWBWFoundations.com.